Well, hey there, I'm KK, and today I wanna to talk to you about the purpose of new beginnings. I think there's something really imperative that we're overlooking in our culture, and that is when difficult times have come, maybe you've pivoted or repurposed what you do, and honestly, it's time to stop grieving the past and truly see the purpose of a new beginning. You know, many of us are lucky that we have the ability to pivot and to reimagine ourselves, kind of reinvent our businesses over the years, and especially now, I think there's something really special about a new beginning. So whether that's in your personal life or your professional life, I just wanna give you some things to think about that may help you to, I think, react differently to a new beginning and stop reaching for the past at times where that doesn't make sense. So first, I want you to kind of realize that the past is in the past and likely for good reason. Oftentimes, whether we're working through a difficult personal issue or really in the trenches on the business side, I find that even the most successful business owners, managers, bosses of all kinds have a really hard time not looking back and having that wistful ignorance of thinking that everything in the past was supposed to be in their present. Hey, I have news for you today. The entire world is changing almost every single month. And if you're not able to iterate, it's a surefire way that you're gonna be out of business, unhappy, and not in the life that you want. And I know that's not what you desire. That's not where I recommend you put your effort. Although it's really easy to get trapped in this concept of the past was good enough, I really think it's time to put that to sleep, so to speak, and look forward and get excited about new beginnings. So it does start in your mind. Secondly, I do think there's something to be said for being in that kind of difficult in the trenches phase that many of you maybe just got out of, where you put the work in to decide what will you do, to plan, to be purposeful even in that, and to really make some tough decisions. Look, some of the best things that come out of tough decisions is that you likely were holding on to certain practices, certain things that you spent money on, certain people in your life that you don't need anymore. And I think the difficult times have proven that and have helped push you in that direction. <laughs> Maybe you didn't want it, but you know it now that you're here. <laughs> and so there's a really beautiful part of this present that you may have just walked through or maybe you're in now where you get to really determine what's most important. And I really want you to think about more than just professional or personal, but to put the two together. You know, my favorite saying, arguably in the world is why can't both be true? And this is where when you're starting over or you're redirecting, there's room for you to say, I would like to put in some emphasis on my personal life while I'm growing as a boss. And I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, I encourage it because I find the very best, those who have the type of success that you're dreaming of, that you're hoping to become, they've got this part right more times than not. They're not just all in on the business or the work needs, but they are super dialed in on their personal needs and putting those two together so that they work well, they stack efficiently, and yet both things are true. You're both enjoying your business success and your professional success, but your personal life is also elevating at the same time. And finally, you know, I want you to think about what that new beginning brings you, especially if you've done the work that I've talked about. So you're not just stuck in a phase of deciding what to do and how to execute on it, but now that you're in new beginnings, it's time to really think about how do you leverage that for even greater success? It may be time to invest and put money in things that help you to accelerate even faster. It may be time to think about next steps as it relates to maybe growth and who you need and what it takes to get there. And so that may be any combination of people, <laughs> places, things. Um, and really, I believe it's the right time to right size the business or right size the opportunity. And what I mean by that is looking at it very tactically, not with the passion, right? Not with the love in your heart and the leading from that, but instead to treat it very perfunctory, very line item, profit and loss, balance sheet type thought process, which um, may not feel very romantic, but it's highly pragmatic and it's gonna help that new beginning become sustainable 
become long-term and consistent and become the success that maybe you've been dreaming of. So whether this is a personal venture for you or maybe a spin-off or a continuation of your professional life, I wanna encourage you to not let resistance keep you from this life, this business, this idea of your dreams. It's not only possible, I'm here, I guess, to tell you that it's probable. And although not all reach that same level of success, it is really clear the ones that do. So they are intentional, they are resourceful, and they are investing on a regular basis consistently so that the past really is in the past, that they've really thought through the present, and that the future is nothing but new beginnings, blessings, and oh yeah, maybe a boost to your bottom line, <laughs> which is my favorite, of course. So I'd love to hear maybe what you're considering, maybe where you're at in your new beginnings, and also where you've gotten stuck along the way. Let's talk more about this soon.